Hey there, this is René Molina for GNS Trivolt and I want to show you how to solve the control plane policing lab. So, what are we going to do? I got a couple of routers here and on one of those routers, router harbor, I'm going to configure control plane policing. Um, so my ARP traffic will be limited to 75 packets per second and telnet traffic should be dropped. So what I'm going to do is create a class map for this part, the telnet stuff. I'm going to create a class map for ARP traffic. Uh, then I'm going to put those in a policy map and we can apply the policy map to the control plane. So let me show you how to do this. Um, and we're going to configure this router over here. So the first one, I'm going to create a class map for ARP traffic. So let's call it ARP and I'm going to do this by using match protocol ARP. There we go. So that is the first one and the second one is to match telnet traffic from router terminal which has IP 192.168.23.3 so let's create an access list for that. I'm going to call it telnet permit tcp host. So this is the IP address of router terminal heading for destination any port telnet. Let's create a class map for that. I'm going to call it telnet and match on the access list that I just created. There we go. And so far so good. Next step, let's create a policy map and I'm going to call it police. And the first class map ARP, I'm going to police it, set the rate to 75 packets per second. There we go. So that's how we police our ARP traffic to 75 packets per second. And I'm going to use my telnet class and I'm going to specify drop. So it will be dropped. So that's the policy map and now of course we need to apply it to the control plane. So we go to the control plane and you, you can see that there aren't a lot of options. So the only thing we can do is service policy. And I'm going to assign it in uh, bound on the control plane. And we call it police. There we go. And that should be it. So this is how we apply it. And we can try it by sending something to this IP address. Okay, so I can still ping as you can see. But you can see that my telnet traffic is being dropped. And you can see that it matches on the access list here. Um, okay, so I can at least check that my telnet is working. And of course you should be able to check if the policing for the ARP uh, is working. But to be honest, I'm not sure how I could do it right now on this router. Since you need something that would generate a lot of ARP traffic. Um, but it should, uh, it should work. So one more time, let me show you what the configuration looks like. First of all, you need to create your class maps. So I created one for Telnet and I created one for ARP. Then you create your policy map. I called mine police. Class map ARP, police it to 75 packets per second. And the Telnet class will be dropped. And then somewhere over here, we have the control plane with the service policy inbound and this is our policy map. 
So that's how you do it. This is how you can configure control plane policing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.